Watch out for you, your utility bill tonight. That frigid blast of pop polar air that hit Southern Colorado over the Valentine's Day stretch there. Going to cost all of us more for months to come. News 5's Andy Cohen tells us that many providers had to buy natural gas at a time when prices peaked. That extra cost will be passed on to customers. Natural gas prices skyrocketed this month when record-breaking cold temperatures hit Colorado and multiple states. Many utilities were forced to buy the gas when prices were high in order to prevent service disruptions. At a special meeting Wednesday, Colorado Springs utilities leaders discussed strategies for how to mitigate the expense. Our reliability and the supply to the city is, is the number one priority that we have. Safety of our public and the safety of our employees. These things are non-negotiable. We, we will do everything possible to make sure we cover that. Because CSU doesn't produce its own natural gas, everything they buy is passed on to customers. They plan to spread out the repayment to minimize the impact on bills. Depending on the plan City Council picks, they estimate a typical bill will go up between $12 and $20 for a period of 12 to 20 months. The longer we spread it, the lower the monthly impact will be, uh, but the slower financial recovery the utility will have. A spokesperson for Black Hills Energy said today that customers in Pueblo will only be expected to pay for the extra gas they used this month in their March bills. But like Colorado Springs, they too bought gas during the peak. They're working with the Public Utilities Commission to come up with a plan to recover those costs in the future. That announcement comes as the governor has asked the PUC to investigate natural gas purchases during the storm. That regulatory board has given private utility companies until next Friday to provide documents detailing costs and any emergency plans. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Andy Cohen, News 5.